Hello Health Champions, Dr. Levis here from the Health and Wellness Board. Now, skin allergies. If you have skin allergies, if you have uh, acne, eczema and all this, even a bad skin, rough skin and scaly skin, plus the skin tags and stuff. If you have all these things that concern the skin, the worst thing you can do is to go and buy agents that have chemicals to just apply on your skin. I see most women hiding uh, their scars and stuff using makeup. And these skin makeup products contain high content of mercury. So before I even go into that, let me talk about how these allergies occur. Now, the skin is basically showing you symptoms of a major problem. And the major problem is in your gut. When I talk about the gut, I'm talking about the mouth all the way to the anus. So if you've messed up your gut through the following foods, you will never lack skin allergies. You will never miss out on protein allergies. You will never miss out on eczema and all this acne and sensitive skins for that matter. Wheat products, all of them, mandazi, chapati, bread, spaghetti and stuff. Processed spices, the one that you people use and think it has beef or chicken in it, that flavor is basically MSG, monosodium glutamate. Uh, the seed oils, so vegetable oils, that cooking oil that you're using is what I call the seed oil, it's not a vegetable oil. Sugar in all forms, including natural sugar, which is basically honey and fruits. These are the foods that cause an inflamed gut. So they cause a serious problem with your gut wall. Now remember, you need a very fixed gut to absorb nutrients, okay, in their optimum or in their adequate forms. So now, if you mess up this gut through those foods and some drugs, specifically the NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the ibuprofens, the diclofenac, the meloxicams, the celecoxibs, the aspirins, these are the drugs that totally you use every day on... Uh, uh, for your pain and management of different conditions that involve pain and also headaches. These are drugs that are messing up your stomach environment. And once they mess up your stomach wall, you start having all these skin allergies. So when you have that skin allergy and you go ahead and buy a substance, maybe a steroid, or you use makeup, to just turn, just hide it. You are actually doing the worst because you are actually handling the symptoms. You are not handling the cause. The cause is in the gut. So if you drop those foods and start eating healthy foods, of course, healthy protein, healthy fats, the ghee, the tallow, the butter, the coconut oil. These are foods and, the, and, and also the protein, the eggs, the liver, the meats, the seafoods and the vegetables. These are foods that have all nutrients that your body can, re, can use to synthesize a healthy skin. And you go ahead and apply that steroid and then the symptoms disappear and afterwards they come back. You go ahead and apply that makeup to hide that scar, to hide that bad skin, to get to look attractive. But you're forgetting that these compounds have serious side effects. These products have serious uh, uh, compounds or ingredients that can easily destroy your kidneys, that can easily alter the, uh, the composition of that skin also, that can easily destroy your adrenal glands, and that can easily also affect your liver. So your organs are actually getting messed up because remember the skin is also an absorbing surface. So anything you, absor you, you apply to the skin can easily get direct uh, contact to your internal organs and even your bloodstream. So that's how these drugs work by getting into the skin, then into the bloodstream and then how they elicit an action. But this acne, this allergy, this eczema will still come back. Women giving their babies milk formulas and baby formulas giving your baby cereals, pasteurized milk. All these foods are unhealthy to the gut of the child, even your gut. Once you mess up your gut, and then how will you be, how will you lack the symptoms of a gut inflammation? The symptoms are what you're seeing on the skin. So for you to fix your skin, drop those foods first, and then enjoy healthy foods. And then after that, start fasting, because fasting clears off that debris, clears off, balances hormones. If you have acne that is caused by estrogen dominance, which is called the cystic acne, it will disappear. If you have a messed up gut and you have these protein allergies, once the gut gets fixed, you, you raise your stomach uh, uh, acid concentration, basically, you lower the pH. 
and then it becomes highly concentrated. You'll break down proteins in the adequate amount and you'll absorb the amino acids. You'll not suffer protein allergies. So imagine this. You have a messed up gut. You avoid protein, but you still consume wheat products, seed oils, uh, and sugar. So you keep on messing the gut. You will end up in malnutrition because you've been told to avoid eggs. You've been told to avoid uh, liver and protein and meats. But you've been told at the end of that talk or that consultation, there is a prescription. And this prescription has antihistamines, has a steroid, and has that cream, basically, which is a combination of uh, steroids. And then these steroids have a detrimental effect on your immunity, on your kidneys, and on your health in general. So you fail to fix the cause, but head to fix the symptoms. And that's why you keep on going back to that doctor. That's why you keep on going back. Because he expects you to get back. Because also, pharmacists and medics also want to pay bills. So, the more we maintain that cycle, the more uh, or the prolonged uh, the time uh, for us to just pay these bills and pay all those uh, uh, expenses. So, it's up to you. Fix your gut. Your skin will align. Fasting does tremendous effects on the skin stop using makeup because of high content of mercury okay you don't know it some are labeled with codes and these codes you don't even understand them but you're busy loading a whole load of makeup on your face listen you will attract who you are if you fake you'll attract fake if you fix your gut you will become the best person the best you'll actually pull the best out of yourself and you'll attract people who will actually be uh, attracted to you for who you are but if you go ahead and fake you will keep on complaining about attracting fake people blaming them instead of fixing yourself so be self-adequate fix the gut the skin will go back to normal